Welcome back. In this video, let's learn how to remove a node from a given index in the list. Similar to insertion at a given index, we will implement removal from a given index as well across three scenarios. The first scenario is where the index is less than zero or greater than the size of the list. In such a case, we return null as no element can be removed. Back here in Replit, after the insert method, let's create a new method called remove from, which accepts the index from where the node has to be removed. To handle scenario one, we make use of an if statement. If index is less than zero, or if index is greater than or equal to size of the list, we return null. With this condition here, we are basically ensuring the index is valid and we can proceed with removing a node from the list. You're always welcome to add a message before returning from the method for more clarity in the log statements. Let's now move on to the second scenario. The second scenario is where index is equal to zero. That is, removing the head node, which is the first node in the list. Removing the head node involves pointing head at the second node in the list. In terms of code, head would point to its own next pointer, which always points at the second node in the list. The first node is detached and garbage collected. Head will continue to point at the first node in the new list, which is the expected behavior. If the list has only one node to begin with, head will still point at its own next pointer, but that would just be null. Head pointing at null indicates an empty list. If this is clear, let's go back to Replit and implement the scenario. We're going to begin by creating a variable to hold a reference to the node that will be removed. Let removed node. Next, we check if index is zero. If it is zero, we store a reference to the head node in the variable. Remove node is equal to this dot head. We then change the head node from the first node to the second node. This dot head is equal to this dot head dot next. If the list contains only one node, head would now point at null. Finally, we decrement the size and return the value of the deleted node. This code now takes care of invalid index and removing a node from the beginning of the list. Let's proceed to the final scenario where index is valid and greater than zero. Let's first visually understand what it means to remove a node somewhere in the middle of the list. In this example, you see, we have four nodes in the list. We're going to treat the index similar to arrays so the nodes are positioned at index 0, 1, 2, and 3. Let's say we need to remove the node present at index 2. That is, in between the nodes currently at index 1 and 3. The only rule we have to fulfill after deleting is that the nodes must point to the next node in the right order. So what we have to do is make the node at position 1 point directly to the node at position three. That will effectively detach node at position two from the list. Let us go over how to do that in this slide. If you remember, I mentioned that whenever we have to do something that is not at the head of the list, it generally involves a temporary pointer that moves across the list. To delete a node at a given index, we need to get hold of the node previous to that index. 
For example, to delete a node at index 2, we need a reference to node at index 1. For that purpose, we're going to use a temporary pointer called previous. And here is how we are going to use it. We will start off with previous pointing at the head node. We will then traverse the list advancing the previous pointer till we reach the node that is previous to the index we need to delete from. In our case, we need to delete from index 2, so we advance the previous pointer till index 1. At this point, we will get hold of the node to be removed using previous.next. So a new pointer called remove node would be equal to previous.next. We then break the link from node at position 1 to node at position 2 and instead link node at position 1 to node at position 3. That is point previous.next to remove node.next. Connect node 1 directly with node 3. This will provide the continuity required. There is no way now to reach the removed node from the head and hence it will be garbage collected. As you can see, deletion similar to insertion is as simple as changing the next pointer of the individual nodes. If this is clear, let's go back to replit and write the code. If the index is greater than 0, so else block, we begin by initializing the previous pointer to head. Next, we add a for loop to advance the previous pointer. So for let i is equal to 0, i less than index minus 1, i++ plus plus, that is till we reach the node previous to the index we advance the previous pointer. To advance the previous pointer we point it at its own next pointer. The for loop will exit when the previous pointer is at the previous node. At this point we have to reorganize the links as we had seen in the slide. We store previous.next as the removed node. And change previous.next to removed node dot next. This will effectively detach removed node from the list. Decrementing the size and returning the removed node value will still hold good. This is the implementation of the remove from method given an index. Let's verify if it works as expected. We already have four nodes inserted as part of the previous video. Let's continue with that. Console log list dot remove from and we are going to remove from index 10. If I run the code we get back null since no element exists at index 10. I'm now going to remove from index 0 and print the list. Run the code and we see 20 which was the first node in the list and the new list is now 30, 40 and 10. Finally, I'm going to remove from index 1 and print the list. Let's also log the list size. Run the code and you can see from 30, 40 and 10, 40 which was at index 1 has been removed. The new list contains 30 and 10 and hence the size of the list is 2. Our remove from a given index method works as expected. In the next video, let's see how to remove a node from the list given its value. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.